Hello my peeps and welcome back to another video. Video. <laughs> Bienvenidos. Sorry, I've been taking Spanish. Um actually anyways, I have kind of ghosted you guys for uh several weeks. Uh and you will know why because this video is about what I did. This video is going to be a road trip. We saw many things some spectacular things and some things that I've never seen before in my life. But it's not just Las Vegas that we wanted to go to. We wanted to see many things. And you know, what is more fun than doing a family road trip? So enjoy. <laughs> Like, lift up like you're surprised. Now drop the smile. There's gold out there. I had to deposit coin. You had to deposit coin to see that out of town. Okay, let me give you a visualization on a graphical map of the path that we went to in the United States. So, here we go. Let me grab my little pen here. <laughs> I'm not an artist, but... Okay, anyways. So, we started here in Orlando, somewhere around there. Then we went this little tail through Alabama, Mississippi. Then we went... Oh, whoops. We, no, no, no. <laughs> we went... We went to around Baton Rouge, and then we went up to Arkansas, and then through Oklahoma, and then around here, and Amarillo, and then New Mexico, Arizona, north, and then boom, there's Las Vegas. Yeah, that took about almost a week <laughs> just to do that. Okay, and then, then, from Las Vegas, we went to Death Valley, then we went back on the south of Arizona, then around New Mexico, you know, not exactly quite like that, and then through Texas, and then kind of the same road again. So we did this deflated kind of balloon sort of thing um, of a trip. So yeah. Yeah, anyways, um, <laughs> continue watching the video, please. I know. It's a lot bigger than the movies. It almost looks not real. Yes. It's not real. It's not real. It's fake. Shake. It's fake. <laughs> they made it up. <laughs> they made it up. It's a green screen. For fabrication. <laughs> hmm. Rock. 
Look at how far that is. If you fall off, you're done. Yep. Yeah, record me, fool. Aight. Alright. Right now, we're in air. Okay, right. I'm recording now. Alright, alright, alright. Right. So, we're here in the Grand Canyon. We're gonna go see some scenery. All that stuff. Mm hmm Yeah, take some pics. Um, Instagram is right here. You'll see all of them there. And... I lost it. You lost it? Okay. Well, see ya. I'm trying to be like Blippi's cameraman. I'm trying to be like Blippi's cameraman. I think he just has a gyroscope camera. Blippi! <laughs> Yo! Bro! <laughs> That's a bit sus. Don't ask, don't ask how I know that, okay? Do, 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 do. Bloom, 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 bloom. Man, I just forgot. I had it all in my head and then, and then just disappeared. No, don't look at the camera, bro. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I had it all in my head, bro. And then it just, it is gone. It's, it's not there anymore. I had it all played out. It was That's so a total woman moment. That's the fit. We're in the Grand Canyon again. It's uh, yeah. it's, uh it's cold. <laughs> it's cold right now, and I'm warm with this blanket. Just this blanket, I'm warm. Okay. <laughs> right in front of the recycle. Um, yeah, and it's snowing and it's cloudy. You can't see anything. It's a little scary, but not too scary because you can't see anything. Yeah. Afraid of the unknown, but the unknown is not that scary, so. Nina, 2022. <laughs> Fear the unknown, except it's not really that scary. <laughs> Nina, 2022. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> okay, okay, one thing I wanted to point out here. You see how the mountains are kind of outlined there's a light behind them yeah those lights that's las vegas that that's a lot of damage <laughs> Here are my thoughts of Las Vegas. Uh, Las Vegas is not what it's like in the movies at all. I'm very somewhat familiar with the vibe that it has. Sorry, it's it's 11 a.m. here. Oh, all right. Let's first let's first talk about the time. I live in Florida, right? That's Eastern Standard Time, and it's three hours behind Florida. My body is still not used to it. My body's all confused. My mind is confused. Is that better? I'm blind a little bit. So, Las Vegas. It's it's a very It's not really kid friendly. <laughs> um what I've noticed here is that there's not many kids. Um so yeah, it's very adult on the streets. That's what shocked me. I think that's the first time that I've ever seen that kind of thing. Yeah, it's just Las Vegas casinos, 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 casinos. Every hotel has a casino. And you know, you know, you have to be 21 to be in a casino. I'm clearly not 21. What what do I do here? Pretty much nothing. So today we kind of went through all throughout 
the major hotels that we wanted to see, but summarize the whole day, okay, shall we? So we went to In-N-Out Burger first. I wanted to test it out because like all of the YouTubers get In-N-Out. So I, I went to go get an In-N-Out Burger. There you go. Napkins. All right, let's taste it there. The toast is crispy. I, I haven't evaluated this. I've had better. <laughs> but look, look at this. Take a shot. Look at that. The meat is so thin and it's covered in bread. It's um, well organized. It's more organized than Five Guys. Yeah. Five Guys kind of just slaps it on there. But it's better than As Five Guys. That was actually the first time I've ever had an In-N-Out burger. Ever. But, I mean... Let me give him a bit of a doubt, okay? This is like a fast food joint. It was severely constipated in that freaking restaurant. Like, it was packed to the brim. Let me just clarify right now. Let me give him the bed of the doubt, okay? So, but the meat was kind of thin. Like, it was just bread and veg veggies. That was it. That was in and out. Now, compared to Five Guys, I think in and out is very aesthetically pleasing, but Five Guys has better taste in my opinion. Hey, and, and no offense to people who love in and out Burger. I get it, I get it, I understand. It's just not me, it's not my thing. Uh, next thing, so we went to Caesar's Palace. Yeah, uh, honestly, that was a whole different thing that I've never seen before. The sky was on the ceiling. It was a Saturday. It was a Saturday, so of course it's gonna be packed. What next? Then we went to the Bellagio. may never know. Looks like paint. Can you smell it? No. Oh, I can smell the toffee in there. It's chocolate. It's like a river. I don't think it's chocolate. <laughs> it's, it's, no, I think it's paint. It's probably paint. They're tricking us. I think we would smell it if it was chocolate. But that ice cream looking awesome though. Pistachio uh, and chocolate, you know. That, you know those are your favorite, right? Cheers. Wow, that's some real pistachio ice cream. Yeah, this is the Giorno special. Okay. Chocolate and pistachio. If you don't get that, you're not a fan. Um, the conservatory was great. I thought that looked really cool and very creative, and I didn't know that they changed it like every month. It was kind of the same thing of, of the Caesars Palace, more of the mall, but they had like some of the same stores. I It was then. We went to the Luxor. That's which is like an Egyptian kind of theme. Come oh, on, you gotta be in front of it, Diego. Oh, up. <laughs> wow, that's a really high ceiling, bro. Oh, it makes me dizzy just looking up at it. Ooh. Okay, outside was very aesthetically pleasing. The huge pyramid and all that stuff inside was a little disappointing i mean i thought it was going to be a little bit more like the bellagio or the caesar palace because the kind of the outside fit the inside luxor outside did not fit the inside actually luxor connected to 
Excalibur. And Excalibur is kind of a medieval themed hotel. It's, it's a more kid friendly sort of hotel. Actually, the arcade for kids was like down in the basement, which is weird. I don't, I don't know. It was really weird. Yeah, we went to a show called the, the King's Tot Totters of the King. I don't know. I'll put it here. I, I'll put it right here. That's actually the first time I've ever been to one of those things. And I'm gonna say, I rate that a 9 out of 10. The reason why was because the food was kind of mid. But it was okay. Whatever stays in Vegas. Wait, what is the saying? Whatever happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Yeah. I forget you can marry here. And then we're here. Yeah, that, that was it. That was our date. But let me say this one thing. Oklahoma has the best internet on the highway. Like, I have full bars. There is 5G towers every five miles. Let that sink in. I'll give you a moment. Best signal service ever. Keep it up, Oklahoma. Oh, I think that's it. And tomorrow I have a test. Yay! And it's proctored. <clears throat> and on top of the other things, on top of the other things, on top of the other things, for one Fiji bottle, it was $11.11. For water! For water! I thought four dollars was expensive. I mean, I guess it does kind of make sense because it's in a desert. So, uh. Whoa! You didn't see this? No! Oh no! Just watch that. I'm gonna reverse it. All right, reverse it then. <laughs> Ooh. Um. <laughs> I'm looking backwards. I'm all paranoid. There's bees. There's bees. But it looks pretty, it looks pretty though. Yeah, don't, don't sit on that wet. So yeah, right now we're in California. So the, it, I mean, it looks the same, but not really. <laughs> no, it's completely different right here. <laughs> After how many years? I can actually, I can Ten? actually legally crack your neck here. Wow. Or anybody's neck. You look bad. It's so birdie. But I got sand in my boots. Just climbing down that. Haven't seen snakes yet. Supposedly, there's 17 kinds of rattlesnakes here. <laughs> it's only 60 degrees. That means it's hot here. And once again, another hill. Another hill. Whoa. This is where you train to become a Jedi. This is where they film Star Wars. Ooh! Ah! Hello! Hello down there! Right, 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 right. how smooth this rock is like it's like almost granite yeah see our stability here no, I don't. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> <laughs> i 
we just surf down there. Okay. It's like a slide. That's the safest way. A big spoon. I am so full. <laughs> Food, pretty busted. Solid nine out of ten. The gelato. Spoon here is a little iffy. Um, I remember that one movie with Salma Hayek and um. Oh, the guy who played in Friends. Wasn't that taking place here? Because they were building casinos. Now, why were they going through the Hoover Dam? That's another question. So look at all these power lines. Men's first room. Restroom. Men's restroom? What? Nevada time. It's like between times. This is the biggest dam. Second, I think, in the US. This is the second biggest dam <laughs> in the United States. And I'm <laughs> Where's the sideways thingamajigs? They're getting all that electricity. Uh, yeah, so look at all those power lines. That's all from this huge Hoover Dam. It's fascinating how they built this. It generates electricity for Los Angeles, Phoenix, Arizona. How, how, does, how does this bridge generate? You power? see those huge turbines there? So it just whirls the water and then boom, and it makes power? I don't know. That part, I'm confused. Okay, okay. So supposedly, according to Google, water flows through large pipes inside a dam and turns a large wheel called a turbine. Turbine things rotates and it produces energy. And that's how the cookie crumbles. Oh yeah, yeah, they're like on the freaking <laughs> like, I know, it's like, wait, did they fall? Nope, nope, they did that on purpose. This whole thing is a full Russian reference. This entire thing. Even me, no. <laughs> oh look. Don't do There's it. There's a bunch of coins here. Is this a tribute? No, that's where they missed. <laughs> All right guys, I have a joke for you. What did the fish say when he swam into the cement wall? I'll give you guys a few seconds. Bam. Get it? This is the part where you laugh. Hello. I am here today holding a bowl of pistachio ice cream in front of a big pistachio statue in a pistachio field. Right now, we are in New Mexico. We are standing in the biggest farm for pistachios. That I know of. That I know of. Yeah. Behold. Behold. The field in which we grow pistachios. This is where the pistachios used to grow. Nice. Let that sink in. Let that porcelain sink in. Let, let that, let that pistachio field sink in. Let that kitchen sink with the garbage dispenser sink in. Sink in. Now we're gonna do a taste test. All right, here we go. Let's see if it truly is pistachio. Or is it fake? Dwayne Rock Johnson, <laughs> eyebrow raise. What does it taste like? I don't think it's enough pistachio. If you ask me, we need more pistachio. Gentlemen. gentlemen, 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 I like what I'm tasting here, but we gotta have more pistachio. We done here? My intention was waffle. I bit my tongue. <laughs> Okay. With the waffle, it's pretty busted. Now, this ice cream has some almonds in it. Blasphemy? It's blasphemy, but... I want some. Wow. Yeah. Yep, it's pistachio ice cream. I'm glad we're here. Glad we saw, we saw it. They even got a pistachio trolley, guys.
Cheers, guys. This looks pretty pretty. <laughs> Literally, I'm wearing socks. Teenage Ninja Turtle socks on. <laughs> this I've never seen in my entire life.